so you guys asked me to start uploading vehicle mods but when i do some of you guys have no idea on how to install them now with this tutorial video you guys asked for that is exactly what i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do now first we'll go over the apps you'll need and before we continue please do subscribe and drop a like on the video it helps the channel grow and then we'll go over the types of mods you guys might come across now the apps you'll need first you'll need the gta img tool that is to install the dff files and then you'll need the dxd tool that is to install the textures if they do come with textures and all cars will be compressed in an archive and in order to extract it you'll need said archiver which is this app you'll see right now now the types of mods you'll come across the first and the most easy one to install is the dff only which is just basically a 3d model dff file in which you'll use the gta img tool to install it and then the second type of mod is dff plus txd which is textures that are compressed in a txd file which you won't have to remember the settings on how to install now the third is kind of similar to the second one is dff and textures which is the dff file with textures that are bare as images and there are a set of instructions such as with alpha and without alpha that lets you guys know how to install them now the fourth is kind of like all three together but then with a handling file uh, which is that txt file at the bottom all you'll need to do is copy the text and then paste them in handling config i'll show you guys later and then the final one is the one with the auto spoiler let's say for example a lamborghini but it then comes with a clio file that you'll have to paste in com.rockstargames.gtasa which is that right there okay now that i've gone over the different types of mods and the basics i will now go into each and every single one of them and let you guys know in detail what you need to do to install them starting with dff only okay before we proceed install the gta img tool the txd tool as well as z archiver what we'll be using now is the img tool so open it and then tap right in the middle where it says open img and then navigate to android data com dot rockstar games dot gta sa files txdp and then select the gta3 img once it's opened tap the three dots on the top right corner then tap add files with replace and then tap that button five times to navigate to your home directory and then look for where you stored your vehicle that you want to install dff only once you find it just tap on it and then tap select and it will process once it's done processing tap the three dots on the top right corner and then tap rebuild always do this when you're done installing a dff to avoid crashing once that's done that will be done for your dff only mods if your car however comes with textures stick around and i'll show you what you need to do now for the one with txds open the txd tool and then tap that file icon at the bottom and then navigate to android data com dot rockstar games dot files txdp 
GTA 3 and then select the GTA 3 TXT to process and then tap the plus icon and then select from TXT archives and then look for your TXT file once you find it just tap on it and then tap select and then deselect the option enable cam norm and then select create sibling that's so that the textures do not mix up with others and then tap ok once that's done processing that will be it for dff and txt now for the textures okay if it comes with textures and not a txt file the process is kind of the same but there's just one difference once you tap the plus icon select from images and then select the settings that they told you in this case starting with with alpha most cars will have different settings in the installation so do be sure to check the installation instructions so that you know which setting to choose but most of the time it's either with or without alpha so once you find your textures click that um, icon there on the top right corner to select all of them and then deselect enable cam norm select overwrite and then tap ok just like when you install the txt file it will import and then once it's done it will process for a few moments and then everything will be completed just tap ok and then repeat the process but then tap without alpha and then select the images that are to be installed without alpha check the box overwrite deselect cam norm tap ok and then the process starts over again once it's done processing that will be it for dff and textures congratulations you have successfully installed a vehicle mod close your cache and you'll be good to go now if your vehicle comes with a handling file navigate to where you stored your vehicle and you will see a txt file below the dff and textures open it and you will see a line of text as well as a few numbers these are very important numbers to add to your game because look if you just install the vehicle and you go and play the game without installing your handling file this is what your vehicle is going to look like the handling file of the vehicle basically explains the vehicle's mechanics and defines what the, how the car will behave rather in the game so while creating some modded vehicles there are certain parameters to take into account and if you do not install that file just look how weird the suspension is not only that after a few seconds your game will crash as you can see so it is very important to install that handling file so this is how you need to do it well most phones come with a trustworthy text editor if it does not you can simply get one by the play store now copy all the text copy everything and then navigate to android data com.rockstargames.gtasa files data and then swipe down until you see the file called handling.cfg and then open it now let's say for example the vehicle you want to replace his name is alpha simply search for alpha or look for it manually once you find it select all of the text and then simply replace it with the one on your clipboard once it's done save the file 
and then close it close everything exit your app and then once you open GTA SA you will then see how lovely the car will look compared to last time once you do install the handling file don't be surprised when your car does drift a little because most of the time once editing that handling file the author makes it a drift car so it shouldn't be too surprising to see a drift i don't mind either way oh you go to vehicle spawner and you spawn your alpha Ugh, not an admiral an alpha yes there we go can you see the difference not only does it look fresh but as you can see it also drifts a little and that is how you install the vehicle with a handling file pretty simple now with an auto spoiler follow all the steps previously shown in this video that is the dff the txd and the handling that if it does come with all of them and then with a clear file all you need to do is copy the folder or just copy the clear file to make things simple and then navigate to android data com rockstar games dot gta sa and then paste it right there and that's it that's it open your game and then spawn the vehicle and you'll see the spoiler go up and down depending on your speed once you're in the game there really isn't anything you need to do to activate it it is automatic so once you get inside the car and you're on a long stretch of say a road or a highway and you get to a certain speed the spoiler will go up to reduce the drag and then when you slow it down it goes down obviously it's automatic and that's it for this video i tried my best to explain everything in detail and as slowly as possible so i do hope that you have learned something new and like i said in the beginning there are now more vehicle mods to come so i do hope that when i do upload them you can come back to this video and you will know exactly what you need to do thank you for watching and thank you for the amazing support and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.